Congratulations on your new Nightscape CCD camera. Included is Astro FX, our powerful, easy to use camera control and pre-processing program. I'm Warren Keller and I'll show you how to follow the tabs to snap, stack, stretch, smooth, sharpen, saturate, and share great astro images. Consult the help file for the full picture, but here's a great quick start video to get you on your way. The heart of Astro FX is the central control console, which can be dragged to any position on the screen. The CCC consists of seven tabs placed chronologically left to right. At the bottom are several navigation commands in blue. Screen stretch and zoom are just a right click away. The help files are available here. To give yourself more workspace, you can hide the CCC. With an image open, click on the Celestron icon and hide AFX dialog. To recall the CCC, choose Show AFX. Additional Windows Size and Position functions are available here as well. The Central Control Console defaults to the Snap tab. This is where to snap those great shots. Refer to both the help file and the setup guide for complete details, but let's take a quick look. Camera Settings controls the speed of the cooling fan. Cooler turns the Peltier cooler on and off. Set Point lets you choose the specific temperature the CCD sensor is cooled to. Temp reports the sensor's current temperature in Celsius. Exposure Type lets you choose an appropriate setting for the task at hand. Focus Mode will begin a sequence of continuous exposures when the Start Imaging button is pressed. Focus Mode is also useful for exposures you don't want saved, like centering a target on the sensor. Astro Image takes your light frames. Calibration frames are necessary to get the most from your light frames and might include biases, darks, and flats. These are detailed in the help file. Here's a typical light frame before calibration. Notice hot pixels, uneven illumination, and other artifacts. But when calibration is performed correctly and the images are stacked, these are eliminated as seen in this process master. Exposure duration is the desired length of exposure in seconds. Number of exposures is the desired amount. The Nightscape's KAI 10100 sensor can produce color images in all bending modes. Subframe is useful for focusing and applications where you don't need the entire frame downloaded. Object Name assigns the target's name to the file. Root Image Folder is where downloaded files are automatically saved, but can be changed here. Start Imaging begins an imaging sequence and may be halted at any time with Abort. The exposure can be tracked by the blue progress bar and the status box. Click here for Night Vision Mode. Click again to restore back to Daytime Mode. When the current exposure downloads, the image is displayed in color. This quick color display is instantaneous and is of lower quality than what is produced by Stack. You can right click in an image to zoom in or out, or use your mouse's scroll wheel. You can also change the zoom level here. When you put the cursor in an image window, its pixel coordinates are shown here. There are more options available in the context menu. Holding down the control button lets you pan left and right with the mouse wheel. Holding down the shift key lets you scroll up and down. 
Holding down control and the left mouse button lets you drag the image. You can adjust the visualization by right-clicking and choosing one of these screen stretch presets. You can manually stretch the image by holding down the shift key and left mouse button, dragging up and down in the image window brightens and darkens the image by lowering and raising its white point. Dragging left and right decreases and increases contrast by moving the white point and black point further apart or closer together. You can also do this by placing the cursor in the histogram window of the CCC's Stretch, Smooth, Sharpen, and Saturate tabs. You can change the screen stretch by clicking here too. This is great for resetting any manual stretches you're not happy with.